Before finally getting back to Palm Springs after going back to Indiana, I spent some time in Vegas and realized just how this city is growing, how much sprawl there is. No matter which way you go out of town, there's construction. Of course, it's always been a cluttered area downtown, and all because of Lake Mead. Lake Mead is the driving force behind the area. But look at this. Now, that white line doesn't mean the water used to reach that level. That's a different strata. But if you look at photographs in just the past 15 years, the northern section of the Colorado River and Lake Mead has really nearly dried up. And that has left resorts and beach areas high and dry. Yes, this whole area is suffering from a drought. Let's look at an historic photograph of Hoover Dam when it was first built. In order to hold back the water and create electricity, there needs to be this level of water. If the water level gets down another 20 feet, it's hard to produce the proper power. And right now, the water level is here. That means Lake Mead is dangerously low and to the point that maybe the turbines can't make electricity anymore, let alone a shortage of water. You see, there has to be a downward pressure of the lake in order to turn the turbines to produce the electricity. So Vegas keeps growing, somewhat to the south, toward Hoover Dam. More and more houses, and they all look alike. And it moves into the desert, which is what this always used to be, into an uncertain future. I'm Dennis Daly.